this is a sad video. Um, I've just watched an informative video on our sad, disgusting police system here in America that our taxes pay for. Um, I don't want to discredit anyone else who has been harmed, maimed, insulted, left alone, or abused by the American police. But the video that I just saw about Lisa Edwards is one of the most disturbing things I've seen in a long time. I cried. And when I wasn't crying, I was fighting crying. This could happen to any one of you. And for the police to know she had a stroke and they must know one side of her body is likely useless and to call her a faker and to abuse her and curse her and then let her die in the back of their cop car right outside the hospital that refused to help her and lied about her, I, my deepest condolences go out to her family, her friends, and to anyone who has seen that video and is mentally scarred. Police brutality is sadly something that just happens here. I'm sure that it happens everywhere, but in other countries, the police are handled properly. And I can tell you from experience, I just moved back from South Africa. The police there are afraid of acting like the police here act. If the police were to act in South Africa, the way they behave here, people would burn down the police station and hung, would hang police in the streets. That's exactly what they would do. They wouldn't stand for it. And the government is afraid of protest. Unlike here, where they're ready for protest and even silent protesters and peaceful protesters will get backlashed, gassed, they use radio frequencies, they use beanbag, pellets, and even live rounds. I implore every American to consider leaving this country. Your health care system is for profit. Your police are out of control. Your water is fluoridated to coal you. The air is polluted. The food is polluted. All the food made with water is also fluoridated. You can't get away from it. Your health care system is for profit. Treatment, treatment, treatment. Don't care about what the disease is. I'm living that right now. But let's not take the focus off of Lisa Edwards right now. This is... so typical. It is so typical. And I'm so saddened. I don't want to be in America. I'm one of the few Americans who understand that the system here is very skewed in the favor of the few that are in control as compared to the trillions of people who outnumber them and could easily outpower them had they only been led to believe that they have the power. They've been led to believe that they don't. So people like Lisa Edwards and everyone else who's been let down by the police are nothing to them. Do you think that those cops that manhandled her, cussed her, allowed her to hurt herself because she couldn't use the left side of her body, made fun of her because she was too, too sick at the moment to even take 
the cap off of the inhaler so that she could inhale the medicine for her lungs that she needed to open up her bronchial tubes. No one lit a joint and blew it in her face to help open her. No one did anything to help her. The hospital came out, someone from the hospital came out and lied and said she was walking around and she was fine. I'm sure had they looked at the video footage or asked anyone else who was there, I'm sure she wasn't walking around. She was fully bound to a wheelchair with complete unuse of the left side of her body. You don't walk around like that, not even on a cane. Do the right thing and leave.